Welcome back. Right now we are talking about the Alzheimer's walk that will be happening right here locally in August. Very exciting to discuss this. We have Andrea and Steve Spalding joining us today. How are you both doing? We're doing great. Thanks for having us. Very excited Hi, to talk Thank about you. this because it's such an important organization. Utah Alzheimer's is supporting research, supporting those locally who need it the most, who are affected by Alzheimer's. I'd love to hear more about your personal connection and why you're passionate about helping out with this walk. Well, um, I guess I'll start. <laughs> um, my uncle actually passed away from Alzheimer's a few years ago, and I just saw the way he struggled and I saw the way it affected our family. I saw the way it affected my aunt as a caregiver. And um, I just wanted to do something, anything I could to help out. I didn't realize how prevalent Alzheimer's is. Um, it's the sixth leading cause of death um, in the United States. And there's more than 5 million Americans living with it right now. So it is out there, it is huge. We need to do something about it. Uh, I really just wanted to help. I became a community educator for the Alzheimer's Association. And, uh, and now uh, Steve and I are working together to organize the Alzheimer's Walk, which we are planning on going live with this year on August 28th. So we're, we're gearing up for that. We're really excited to, to help fundraise for that. My grandmothers, I've had two grandmothers who uh, suffered from dementia. Uh, which is not specifically Alzheimer's, but the mission of the Alzheimer's Association is actually to uh, combat not just Alzheimer's, but all dementias. And then also professionally, uh, I work for Edward Jones, and Edward Jones is the national sponsor uh, for all the walks around the country. So I've been involved for about five years in captaining teams and organizing the walk. And the goal here is to not only have the community come together and show their support to those who are impacted by this devastating disease, but also to raise money. Yeah, so so this, I'll tell you, the, the real goal is just to get back live again. I mean, we, uh, we hit our records back in summer of 19 with about 600 walkers. We raised about $150,000 just here in the Wasatch back. Uh, we are actually the biggest fundraising walk in Utah. Um, but of course, you know, 2020, uh, we did it virtually um, and we were successful. We, we of course didn't achieve the same goal, the same uh, goals as we had in 19. So for 2021, I mean, just to have it in person. And of course, when I, when I say that, we would be following all CDC guidelines. So I wanna make sure people are, you know, we're not just gonna run into this without any kind of uh, thought about it. Um, but just to have a successful walk in person would be our primary goal for, for 2021, just to get the momentum back. And this is an event that the community absolutely has supported and looks forward to. You know, we had Glenn Wright on our show today from Summit County Council. He mentioned that him and his wife are organizing a team already. So it's yeah. a great opportunity. Andrea, anything else that we need to know as we prepare for this walk in August? Well, I think if you wanna um, start a team right now, it's not too early, like, like Len was saying. You can hop on AL, alz.org slash walk, and he's put in your zip code, and that will um, guide you to everything you need to know to actually form a team. So you can get your friends together, uh, start looking forward to the event. You can start fundraising. It's not too early now. So um, we'd like people to start thinking about it. The pandemic has been devastating for many, many reasons, but it's also been particularly hard on those with Alzheimer's and their caretakers. So anything else that you would like us to know as we prepare for this walk and as we think about supporting Utah Alzheimer's chapter in general? Yeah, I think, I mean, you're right. The, the, um... COVID has certainly been tough, uh, but you know this this is just such a devastating disease, even in the best of times. Uh, you know there there are so many people suffering nationwide, worldwide uh, here in Utah. The number of caregivers, just as statistically, there's I think about three or four caregivers per person who's suffering from it, um, and so the you know the, the amount of lost productivity. The amount of lost income, uh, the isolation that exists, and again, that's not just during COVID. That's any time. 
it, it's it's really you know it's got a huge toll not just financially but emotionally on the caregivers the families the loved ones so if we can find a way to just slow this down and and then eventually find a cure for it uh that's you know that that would be so wonderful i think for individuals families and and the country as well well thank you so much andrea and steve spaulding for joining us today discussing the alzheimer's walk that is coming up in august here locally 